What's up, y'all? Welcome. I want to shoot a quick little video. Because I'm in a bad mood right now, right? And I just want to make sure people understand. Now, other folks, I just did a little 30-piece push-up. But other folks who don't live life and they don't know who they are, or if they don't value struggle, they, don't, they won't understand this concept. But listen, people just don't imagine bitterness and hate. You find a bitter person or a person that's full of hate, they didn't just make that stuff up in their head and decide, okay, I'm gonna go through life like this. When you get when you get dogged a certain amount of times, or you get left a certain amount of times in your life, you develop a F everybody kind of attitude. You know what I'm saying? Not the it is what it is kind of attitude. That's a better one. That's the one I like to stay in. You know what I'm saying? I like to have an attitude right like it is what it is. But when cats do you wrong in life, or you get done wrong enough in life, you develop a F everybody kind of attitude. And that's the kind of stuff that gets into your heart. And it gets into your mind. And it becomes your attitude. Like, man, folks, folks who are hateful or bitter, you know what I'm saying? They ain't just do that on purpose. They ain't just sit up here and decide that they want to be like that. They got treated a certain way in life, and that was their response. And I completely understand. Because some days my attitude be messed up because of that. Because, folks, this happens to me enough for me to wonder, like, dude, is this really a part of my life? But anywho, people want to be able to say and do anything. I have people invade my space. People will touch me, invade my space, say anything crazy, stupid, or just lie to me. And I'm not allowed to defend myself. You know what I'm saying? Folks could just invade my space and touch me. And if I say or do anything in return, I'm the one who's wrong. That stuff messes with your attitude when folks are so freaking inconsiderate. And then another thing, like I already said, folks can walk up to you and just waste your time saying any crazy or any stupid thing and you're not supposed to react. You're supposed to just be nice to people. That's that bitterness I'm talking about. As far as the hate goes, I'm just not one of those people who be like, oh, yeah, I love my haters, man. Y'all motivate me. You know what I'm saying? No, forget that. If you hate me, I hate you too because I don't need that in my life. You know what I'm saying? You want to share something with me, I can return it. You know what I'm saying? I told you I'm a petty person. I'm a very petty person. Heck yeah. But a lot of times in life, I don't hate nobody first. They hated me first. So I returned it because I don't appreciate the hate. You know? But anywho, that's just my little thingy right there since I was in a messed up mood and I feel like I dropped that real quick. No, I felt like I should drop that real quick. Most people who are bitter or most people in life who are hateful, they didn't they didn't become that way out of choice. You know what I'm saying? They did out of choice, but they didn't they didn't wake up one morning and say, look here, this is the way I'm gonna be in my life. They got tired of getting dogged out. And uh, people who don't understand what it's like are usually the same people who are the ones dogging other people out. Think about it like this. If, you was, if you're not the type of person to go around, get loud and call people out their name and cuss at other folks, how would you like if somebody did it to you? Right. And then my experience is always, it's always the person, it's always the offender trying to tell the victim, oh, it's not that serious, man. Just calm down. Let it go. Take it with a grain of salt. You're the one disrespecting me. You're the one mistreating me. You're the one who hates me without a cause. Of course you're going to say it's not a big deal. If I was doing it to you, you would have snapped, wouldn't you? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. It's that attitude. So folks, folks who don't understand other people's struggles are always trying to say, look, it's not that serious. You know what I'm saying? Just, just get back on. It's all good. It's all right. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, because it's not happening to you. It's happening to me. You get what I'm saying? So that's my message right there. Folks just don't, people, most people don't want to be bitter. They don't want to be hateful. They just been treated a certain way in life and they have a hard time getting over it. So their little defense mechanism is to put that out first before they get attacked. That's just my little psychological theory. <laughs> Anywho's, any man, outro.